Hi guys, in this story we're gonna create a PCG forest like this. Realistic PCG grass, trees, and adjust parameters from this and add uh, a dynamic system like this. Okay, first thing first, uh, open the editor. Okay, create a new project. Directed person as template, it create. Okay, now let's go here to the edit. After that, go to plugin source for PCG. Enable this uh, plugin, proceed content generation framework, hit restart. Okay, after restarting, let's go right here. Let's create new level. Select empty level. Go here, environment light mixer to set up the lighting. After that, close this. Now, we want to create our landscape. Let's go here, landscape. Create new landscape or import from Vine. I want to import it from existing, existing uh, height map. Import from Vine. How to get this height map? You have to go here to this website. Manticore GitHub. You can get any height maps in the world. Any map if you want. Now I am in the United States. Okay, I want to choose this place. Okay, let's choose this. After this, select this one, PNG 16 byte. Choose the output uh, pixel with an higher. You can get it from here. The scaling of this output. Default size. You can choose anyone what we want. Okay, we could choose this one. Generate height map. After generating this height map, you can get this file from this. It's like this. Now let's return here to the engine. Press this three button. Import it. Change the speed of the camera. And let's see what's happening right here. Okay, this is my height map. It looks huge uh, and great. Okay, let's go right here in any place to create our PCG forest. Let's go here in this place. First of all, let's save the level, save all PCG LV. After saving this, let's go to the base and set it. The player start right here and let's test it. Okay, it looks fine for now. Uh, save all. Now let's go here to the content and let's go to the PCG. Create PCG graph, create empty PCG graph, new PCG graph. We'll name this one PCG Forest. Hit enter. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to get the data from this landscape. We have to use this uh, node. Get landscape data. After getting the landscape uh, data from this, Now let's add this one surface simpler now what? Okay, what does me this node? This node is uh, 
The simple way to use it's out the uh, first of all, I have to up this PCG. This is the surface. When the PCG components adds here, these uh, points and other things. Let's see. After that, uh, set this one density filter. Transform point this. Okay, let's see. When I get here, I press the debug button. Okay, and when I select this one, we have point per square meter. Zero, one point per square meter. Point extend 50. 50, 50, noiseness, seeds, and other things. And other things. When I press the bug, I have those points right here. Let's see, right here. When I select this, then the density of this. Okay, and let's see the changes. Okay, debug. Okay. Now, let's go here to the transform points. And there is mean offset and height offset. Mean offset 0.8, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And the final one will be same thing. Okay, for the rotation, I want to set absolute rotation. For the scaling, I make the same thing. Okay, let's make this one. Disable the debug. After that, we have to add our trees. Start glitch spawner. Select this and let's go here to mesh entries and we want to choose three mesh entries and search here for static. We have to add our such mesh in those place. How to get this? Let's add our battery. First of all, let's go here to Fab Marketplace and search for trees. Spruce. Set price for free. Add to my project. <laughs> and our kids downloading is begin. Let's take some time to the complete download. Thing. After that, search for glass. Our filter set price for free. Add the browser. But yeah, like he's not handy where we should go. Okay, after that. Search yes. so for this. You're the ground. Okay. After downloading this. Let's add this for the ground. Before we close this, we have to go here. And let's go here to the content, the Spruce Forest, Nessus. Go to filter here, tick this one. Start mesh. Choose three mesh. First one right here. This one. 
and the third uh, one. Okay, I think it's good. Okay, there is a problem is that there is a lot of trees. Okay, let's change the density. Well, let's see how it works. Upper bound and lower bound. Okay, the density. Okay. This is how the density affect the landscape. Okay, I think now it's fine. Now let's return right here. Keep on. Select the landscape and let's add the dirt material for the landscape. Select this, transfer content, fab, mega scan, services, menu, and material. And drag this material right here. Now, after adding this, we have to go here and choose for static mesh. Select all using Ctrl A. Or control Q and go here enable the night for all the mess. Okay, fine, the night is enabled. Now let's return here. the PC graph and from this let's copy it copy let's add grass surface simpler okay then see change the entries of the mesh static we have three entries. Let's return right here. We have to fab, make a scans, plant this. Okay, let's choose three entries. First one, right here. Second one, right here. And final one, right here. Change the surface simpler right this. Okay, point four squared meter. Let's set it one per squared uh, ten sorry per squared meter and let's see the difference. Okay. This is ten per squared meter, let's change it. Okay, 100 per square meter. You can play with the variables. Point extend 100. Uh, not 100. 5, 5, 5. It's a lot of grass. Okay, let's change it. Certain layer for the density filter. Change this filter. Okay, let's 
I think it's good. Mm. Okay, now it's uh, there is another problem of the scanning. Yeah. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, let's do the scanning. Let's go here, transform point. In offset. Let's set default value. And let's see what is the difference. Okay. Okay, I think it's fine. Okay, thank you guys for watching this all for this tutorial. See you later on the next tutorial.